Hello again, it's Greg Johnson from resourcesforlife.com and I want to thank everybody for the nice uh, comments and feedback on my last video. Um, and I thought I'd just go ahead and respond to some of those uh, on the morning commute on my way to the office. So uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at my iPhone. I have um, one of the questions actually was uh, that came up was about the videos that I do and uh, somebody was asking you know do you actually uh, ride your bike and video at the same time um, so as Steve was asking uh, he said that he and, and Anya had seen me riding up the hill near the engineering building and he was wondering um, was I actually videotaping so yeah that's that's what I do uh, here I'm riding the bike I'm looking at the questions that have come in on Facebook and then uh, the video cameras in my other hand. Um, and uh, anyway, it's, it's actually not too bad. You can uh, really keep your eyes on the, uh, the road ahead, or in this case, the sidewalk ahead of you. And um, as long as there's not a lot of traffic, it's not a problem. So it is hard, though, uh, to, to bike uphill with one hand, carrying, as you can see in the back here, that's my little cart where I keep my computer and um, other equipment while I'm mobile. My backpack basically goes in there. So uh, anyway, let me uh, respond to some other comments that came in. I think um, Bobby Jett's comment was really right on target, you know, uh, talking about why do people spend more um, at, at one store rather than getting something that appears to be the same, uh, let's say from Walmart, for a few dollars. And uh, the answer to that is most likely that you know, people really do want something of quality. Got some noise in the background here. Um, yeah, people are willing to pay for quality. The, the question often comes up with computing. That's, as you know, my field of work is technology support. Um, people aren't looking so much at the cost of purchasing a computer, but the cost of ownership. So you can buy a computer for very little money and um, yet it's going to cost you a lot of money to maintain it either because the hardware is of poor quality or uh, in some cases what you find is the operating system may be uh, requiring a lot of updates and security uh, patches and that type of thing. Uh, people often find that Apple computers for example they cost a little bit more um, but you're getting a product that is made of let's say with the notebook computers you know it's made out of a solid block of aluminum and the operating system is founded on Unix, which has been around since you know the 1970s. So um, any problems that might be there, you think they probably would have discovered by now. So Apple Computer is an example where people are willing to pay more to get quality, and uh, and also as Bobby pointed out, you know name brand. Um, people want to go with a company that they feel they can they can trust that they can rely on, and beyond that is just style you know, design. Um, we, we pay for style and design. Part of it's aesthetic, you know, something's pleasing to the eye, but um, it's also functional. You know, again, let's say carrying this uh, example of the Apple computer again, um, it's, it's nice to carry a, a notebook computer that's just a solid piece of metal and has smooth edges and that type of thing. Nothing's going to break off or snag or, you know, cut your finger or whatever. So anyway, so I, I appreciate Bobby's comment. Uh, interesting. I had a green light and somebody just almost ran into me. Um, there's, there's the thunder right there. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm going to turn around. So, uh, but anyway, I think, I think that's why people like to shop the downtown stores. And it's, it's convenient. I mean, where else can you go and find, um, you know, a photography shop. Here's a university camera on the left and you can get food. A wide variety of food. Get your haircut. Go to the bank. Go to the library. Get to you know, go to the fitness center. That type of thing. You've got all these places you can go downtown. Uh, Prairie Lights, and you're not going to find that at Walmart. You know, you're not even going to find that out at the Coral Ridge Mall. So, um, anyway, let me get back to the uh, questions. I'm going to try to answer this in under 10 minutes because that's the limit on YouTube. Um, oh, Eric was asking if. I'm living at the senior center. I was uh, in my introductory video talking about living downtown. I was say, uh, 
showing some flowers, and I was in front of the senior center, but no, I've not retired. Uh, contrary to, to uh, what it might have appeared in the video, I'm not living at the senior center. But uh, yeah, the apartment's downtown where I'm living, so. And let's see. What else was coming in? Oh, Donald was talking about the need for better urban planning in Iowa City. Um, and, you know, I don't know the details of that, but, yeah, it would seem to me that kind of a new urbanism approach to offering housing and business in the downtown area would benefit everybody. I think that's what we're seeing, um, let's say, for example, with the, the Hotel Vitro. You have, you know, a grocery store, the Bread Garden Market. You have condos if somebody wants to buy real estate downtown residential they can do that um, there are also apartments there and their businesses there so that's probably the example that comes to mind for me when I think of new urbanism is you know one building that offers everything that you could live there you could work there and uh, I, I think we're seeing more of that but it's these are not initiatives uh, necessarily put forth by the city of Iowa City it's just you know, business people who uh, want to have that kind of a positive impact in the community, they'll come in and, and try to do something. Okay, thanks for that, Donald. And, oh, Meg was saying that she was living downtown and found that it was really noisy downtown. Um, I found it difficult to do video work unless it's like this, you know. Here we are, early in the morning. The alleys, the alleys are empty. It's pretty quiet right now. Whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but I do find it hard to do video work if there's, you know, loud motorcycles or semi-trucks, um, that type of thing. It, it is hard to do video with background noise. And as Meg was pointing out, I'm sure, you know, it's hard to get sleep at night if people are partying and yelling. Um, but actually, I, I think most of the apartments that are downtown, you'll find, I'll just point out some here. You know, you're looking at uh, apartments that are on the second floor or third floor of buildings um, and in the, in the case of the plaza towers down here where the Hotel Vitro is, uh, you know, once, once you're off the street level, you're not going to have that kind of uh, noise, either street noise or partying noise, that type of thing. Um, there's some nice apartments up here, that's 108 Lynn Street um, and, and those apartments are quite nice. Uh, and here, of course, you'll find the Plaza Towers, which, uh, let me get a close up of that. You can hear some construction noise in the background. I usually, um, I'm sleeping during the night and awake during the day, but I suppose uh, somebody who would have a, you know, an evening shift might have trouble with the noise during the day if they're if they're trying to sleep. So I'm gonna check my time right now. Eight minutes, 30 seconds, got a little bit more to go. But yeah, in general, I haven't found the noise to be a problem. Most of these buildings downtown are either old, in which case they're made out of brick, or if they're new, um, you know, here's, uh, down here you'll see the Vogel building. See if I can get this in camera. There we go. So you're either looking at old brick homes like this one, or newer uh, designs like this one, Vogel building. And in either case, these things are pretty pretty well soundproofed. Um, I think where you find the problem is maybe some residential construction where uh, you know it's a house and the quality maybe isn't as good. But otherwise, I think the downtown apartment options are pretty good. Well, um, I'm nearing my 10 minute mark, so I think I'll try to wrap the video up. Once again, appreciate everybody's feedback. Um, I will try to keep the videos coming along and have some ideas for upcoming videos in addition to just responding to questions and comments. So, hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.